Hey guys, welcome back to Book Chats with Jamila Elena. I am super excited about this book review because we are discussing my all-time favorite poet. I've had a bit of a hard time trying to pick a book to talk to you guys about because all his books are absolutely brilliant. Today is all about the legendary Charles Bukowski. Anyone who knows me or anyone who's worked with me knows that I am that girl on set curled up in the corner with a good Bukowski book. I guess if I would have to pick one, I would say Slouching Towards Nirvana is a good book to start with. Also, You Get So Alone at Times That It Just Makes Sense. <laughs> it's so many books so I actually came across Bukowski by accident about five years ago I went to the bookstore looking for another poet and I read some of this other person's poetry and it just didn't fit like all of her poetry was happy and about how great her life was and I was like mm, I can't relate to this like I have nothing against happy and upbeat poetry, like I love it all, but I needed something with more depth. So I started looking and I came across Bukowski and his poetry has a rawness to it that you don't find in most poems. Most poetry I find, I feel can be a bit censored. like they want to say the right thing or they want it to sound a different way or sometimes you can feel like they're trying to please the audience. Anyone who is a fan of Bukowski knows that he doesn't care about anyone. All he cares about is getting his feelings out on the page and in doing that he speaks to you in a way that most poets don't speak to you. An interesting fact about Bukowski that a lot of people don't know is that he actually didn't make it big until his 40s. He spent most of his life working in a post office and struggling and just trying to make it. He had this entire life of being this outcast and just trying to find his place in the world and that's what you get in his poetry. There's this one quote that I really really love and it's from his book, where is it? It's Hollywood. Another really amazing book that you really want to check out and he said, don't let anybody tell you different. Life begins at 65. I really love that because it gives you hope. It's letting you know that just because you don't make it by 30 or even 40, that doesn't mean that it's over for you. For him, the greatest parts, the greatest years of his life was later in life. So that was a really beautiful thing. I wanted to give you guys a bit of a taste of his greatness. So I went and picked out one of my all-time favorite poems by Bukowski. Let's see. It's called Something's Knocking at the Door. A great white light dawns across the continent as we fawn over our failed traditions, often kill to preserve them, or sometimes kill just to kill. It doesn't seem to matter that answers dangle just out of reach, out of hand, out of mind. The leaders of the past were insufficient. The leaders of the present are unprepared. We curl up tightly in our beds at night and wait. It is a waiting without hope more like a prayer for unmerited grace. It all looks more and more like the same old movie. The actors are different, but the plot's the same. 
senseless. We should have known watching our fathers. We should have known watching our mothers. They did not know. They too were not prepared to teach. We were too naive to ignore their counsel. And now we have embraced their ignorance as our own. We are them, multiplied. We are their unpaid debts. We are bankrupt in money and in spirit. There are few exceptions, of course. But these teeter on the edge and will at any moment tumble down to join the rest of us. The raving, the battered, the blind, and the sadly corrupt. A great white light dawns across the continent. The flowers open blindly in the stinking wind as grotesque and ultimately unlivable our 21st century struggles to be born. All time favorite. For me, I was able to relate to Bukowski because of his struggle. He talks about homelessness. He talks about not getting along with his family. He talks about all his many felt suicide attempts. Lots of things that people who've had a hard life could understand. But one thing that is really important about Bukowski is, and this is for the people who haven't had a life of struggle who wouldn't understand what he went through. He gives you an inside look to how other people who are struggling to make it day in and day out, he helps you to understand what they're going through. So for those of you who haven't lived the life he lived, it helps you to understand them and if other people can understand those people out there that are struggling maybe you could learn to love them too and in return make this world a better place before we leave i am going to read you one more poem that i really love of his It's called Regardless. Yes, here it is. The nights you fight best are when all the weapons are pointed at you, when all the voices hurl their insults while the dream is being strangled. The nights you fight best are when reason gets kicked in the gut, when the chariots of gloom encircle you. The nights you fight best are when the laughter of fools fill the air, when the kiss of death is mistaken for love. The nights you fight best are when the game is fixed, when the crowd screams for your blood. The nights you fight best are on nights like this. As you chase a thousand dark rats from your brain, as you rise up against the impossible, as you become a brother to the tender sister of joy, and move on regardless. Until next time, lovelies, I'm Jamila Elena. And remember, when it comes to this rocky road that is life, you got this.